Hello and thank you for joining me today. Today I am sharing with you an altered paintbrush that I created for Finnebar's um, July Art Recipe Mix. As you can see it's a bright beautiful mix full of pinks and greens and mints, a little bit of yellow. And there's some products that I used that were part of the mix as well. I did start a little bit off camera on this paintbrush and I added some white sand texture to my paintbrush. I'm not sure when I did it but it was in my stashed altar. So here you can see that I'm adding some impasto paste, which is, um, not paste, I'm sorry, it's paint. I always want to call it paste, but it's thick, so I guess it could be. Anyhow, um, you can see I coated my basic embellishments and the paintbrush in this mint color, which goes nicely with um, the recipe mix. I'm adhering my stars and these are off of a Finnebar mold as well. Um, I just created these using a little bit of resin. And you can see I started my focal point uh, ahead of time off camera as well. Sometimes I do that. I just see little embellishments that I like and I glue them together in advance and sometimes I use them and sometimes I don't. Um, but this one I just dug out and it worked pretty good for this, al for this altered paintbrush. Here I'm struggling to figure out my Roman numerals <laughs> and it's late and you'll see I make quite a few little snafus during this paintbrush um, but it's late and I probably should have went to bed but I wanted to get this done. I had it in my head and I had to get it out. So here you can see I'm starting to build my paintbrush. I'm building on my focal point adding little stars here and there um, and I I don't add any gesso or anything to my, my, my metals at this point. Um, I really wanted it to be a mix of things and it's something I don't usually do. I usually make everything really uniform so this was a little bit different for me. I'm just removing little extra bits of glue, the 3D um, matte gel that I'm using here to adhere my embellishments. Now I'm using some heavy body gel and that's because um, the wing and the corset with the heart is a little bit heavier and I want to make sure that it stays in place. It doesn't through this process and you'll see that later, um, but that's what I get that out for. Now my pink paint is a hot mess. Um, it's got paint on the sides, I can barely get it open half the time, I really, I really need to take a better care of them but they are well loved, right? Anyhow, I'm just painting this resin corset that I created and I just, I don't want everything to blend together in this and I want everything to kind of be separate elements at this point in time, so that's what I'm doing here. So you'll see that I'm just painting my corset pink. Um, these colors just remind me of the 80s for some reason, um, that bright, crazy pops of color, but You'll see me paint this and after I do paint it I do dry it but I do that off camera because you don't really need to see me drying things. Paint dries. No one needs to watch paint dry, right? Anyhow. So now I am making my first snafu. I forgot that I wanted to put some random stamping around my paintbrush but I figured hey I can do this, right? Well most of my embellishments come off and I have to re-adhere them. So at that one I, I'm smart enough to take off and then I move it again and everything falls off. Anyhow, I do put everything back together and I get the stamping where I want and I'm happy with the look. And then I have to clean my stamp really well because yes, I got gel medium in my stamp as well. But you know, like I said, it was late and snafus will happen. Anyhow, here you can see that I'm trying to pick some more embellishments to add to my paintbrush because I'm not really sure exactly what I want on here, what I don't want on here. Um, I'm thinking that I want to add something into the brush, but I'm not sure what exactly yet. And I know I want more embellishments on here, but it's a tiny brush and I kind of feel like it's already okay, so I'm not sure exactly at this point what I want to do. So I'm going to put this gear in here with some gel and I tuck it and move it and pull it around because I can't get it exactly how I want it. And then I'm trying to figure out how I'm going to balance this all out. 
and I'm trying different gears and springs and I'm digging in my bin um, and it's just a little glass jar that I keep of random bits on my desk but I just can't figure out exactly what I want to do so I just left this in here because I know people think that oh they just these projects just come together just like that and it's magic but while it is magic and everything turns out really pretty it's a process just like everything else and nothing's perfect and everyone stumbles and tries to figure it out during the way so uh, here I just wanted to show you my process of playing with things until I'm happy with them now I'm getting the idea here that I want some charms to hang from the paintbrush. I haven't figured out how or where, but I've picked out the charms that I want to hang. So that's what's off to the side there. I'm adding my focal point. Probably getting ahead of myself at this point in time because I'm not letting anything dry sufficiently. Um, but I've picked up my charms and I have more of an idea where I'm going. And now you can see that I'm starting to add this Prima vine flower. It's an old flower. I'm not even sure, honestly, if it's available anymore. Um, but it's out of the stash, so I grabbed it up. And you're going to see me play with it and twist it and torture it around this paintbrush. And honestly, it goes on and on and on. So I'll fast forward this after a while. Because um, I really thought I might chuck it at this point in time. Um, but this this flower really gave me a way to go so I cut it and tucked it and mutilated it and eventually I got it where I wanted it to go or at least where I was happy with it and I wound up digging around in my stash to find another Prima flower and I'm not sure what collection the flower that I add is from um, because it was just in a bin of flowers that's left but you'll see it pop up in the screen and it just kind of pulls everything together but here you're going to see me add what I'm going to attach all my charms to and it's just a large mechanical um, from Finnebar and I'm going to tie all the little charms to that I do that off camera because it's really hard to see but here you can see the flowers popped up and the charms are attached and now I'm going to add my mix of mint yellow and pink paint and I'm I don't want everything just muddied together so I'm painting individual items so you're gonna see me paint the heart and add little touches to the stars and the crown um, just little splatters here and there I'm really trying to keep it separate um, kind of I don't want the colors pulling together and I don't want anything blending I want it to just kind of go where I put it but for it to still look random, I guess is the best way I can explain it. But here you can see I'm just adding a little bit of the mint color on top of the stars and then I add a little bit more to the wing and I'm doing that really lightly because I don't want to cover the mint color that's there. I just want to accent the detail of the wing. And I'm going to continue to add a little bit here and there um, I do add some on the paintbrush, um, on the bristles I mean, and then on the stars, and then on the flowers, and this is just really random, and I'm just not really sure where I want everything, I just know that I want it random and separate, and I can't really decide, so you can see it just kind of keeps going. Sorry, it's, I know you see the top of my hand quite a bit, but it's kind of hard to see exactly <laughs> when you're on camera. Um, here I'm just adding a little bit of mint, um, I forget the name of that paint, that's a new one I have. Well, I think it's a new paint too, but it's new for me, for sure. But I just added that to the flower because I wanted to make sure that it really matched because it was a little bit lighter than everything else. I'm adding some yellow to the stars. Um, I really wanted to make sure I used all the colors in the challenge. Um, I'm not really sure why, I just figured might as well go big, right? Just continuing to add all my little pops of color here and there. 
sorry if you hear my kids in the background going crazy. It is summer, so they are home being rambunctious. And it's raining, so they can't be outside. But just little bits of color here and there. Um, just a very tiny paintbrush, and I'm just really controlling where I want it to go. And you can see I'm adding kind of like, um, almost like drips, maybe, on the brush, and then some on the crown. Now here I'm going to go ahead and paint the wings. Now at first I think I just want to like lightly just kind of bring out the texture, but then I decide, nah, I'm just going to paint them. But it's just a thin coat of paint, so you can still see the metal behind it. it they don't turn the mint. It's just a nice subtle effect. I'm here, you can see I'm adding some more 3D gel, and this is where I'm going to add my glass beads. They were part of the recipe as well. Um, and I'm adding them like I would add art stones or some micro beads. I haven't used beads lately, um, so it was nice. As you can see, it's, I have an older label bottle, so you can tell I haven't used them very often. So it was a good thing for me to dig that out and remember that I like them. I just added them on top of the gel. And here I'm just picking up some off the mat with my paintbrush and pushing them back into the gel. You can see me continue to do that. And then I'm adding a little bit of glitter on top of those patches of gel. Now you're going to see me water down a little bit of 3D gel. And that's just so I can add a tiny bit in the flowers because I want to add a little bit of glitter, but I don't want a ton. So I'm going to add that diluted gel, and then I'll add some glitter on top of those. Now finally you're going to see me start adding my splatters, and that's just how I'm going to make this more cohesive and try to bring this together just a little bit more. And this is just the metallic white, and it's watered down a little bit. And then I just mix that white in with what's left of my mint and I splatter that on. And then I'm gonna pull out, I believe it's Raven maybe, um, but it's a Sparks. And that just brings in the black from the strings and from the stamping a little bit more. And that's it, that's all she wrote. I hope you enjoyed my process. Thank you so much for spending your time with me. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and I'd love to have you as a subscriber. Thanks again, and we will see you next time.